It was a hot night, and I couldn't sleep. So, I decided to head down to the basement to cool off. I flicked on the dim overhead light, and the shadows danced across the walls as I made my way down the creaky stairs. Now, let me give you some context here. Our basement is old, like really old. The walls are made of rough stone, and there are these ancient wooden beams overhead that creak and groan with every step you take. As I reached the bottom of the stairs, I heard this strange whispering sound. At first, I thought it was just the wind outside, but then I realized, there was no wind. The air in the basement was stale and musty, like it had been trapped down there for centuries. I shrugged it off, thinking maybe it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. But then I saw it, or rather, him. A figure standing in the corner of the basement, shrouded in darkness. My heart skipped a beat as I called out, who's there? But there was no response. The figure just stood there, unmoving, like a statue. I slowly approached, my footsteps echoing off the stone walls. As I got closer, I could make out more details, the figure was wearing old-fashioned clothes, like something out of a history book. I reached out a trembling hand, my fingers brushing against the cold stone wall. And that's when I saw his face, or rather, what was left of it. His eyes were sunken and hollow, his skin pale and stretched tight over his bones. I stumbled back in horror, my heart pounding in my chest. What was this thing? How did it get into my basement? But before I could even begin to comprehend what was happening, the figure started to move. Slowly at first, then with increasing speed until he was lunging towards me, his arms outstretched, his mouth twisted into a silent scream. I turned and ran, scrambling up the stairs as fast as my legs would carry me. I could hear the figure behind me, its footsteps echoing off the walls as it pursued me relentlessly. I burst through the basement door and slammed it shut behind me, leaning against it as I tried to catch my breath. I could still hear the whispers, faint and muffled now, but still there, lingering in the air like a sinister melody. I never went back into that basement again. And every night since then, I've heard those whispers echoing in my mind, a constant reminder of the horror that lurks in the darkness below. This happened back when I was still in high school, and let me tell ya, it's a story I won't soon forget. It was a typical Friday afternoon, and I was staying late at school to finish up some last-minute homework. Now, our school was old, like really old, and it had this creepy basement that everyone whispered about but nobody dared to explore. As I made my way down the dimly lit stairwell into the basement, I could feel my heart pounding in my chest. The air was heavy with the scent of mildew, and the only sound was the soft echo of my footsteps against the cold concrete floor. I was just settling into a desk, trying to focus on my work, when I heard it, a faint scratching noise coming from somewhere in the darkness. I froze, my pencil poised over my notebook, listening intently. At first, I tried to convince myself that it was just rats or something, but deep down, I knew it was something more sinister. I glanced around nervously, my eyes straining to pierce the darkness. And that's when I saw her, a girl, huddled in the corner of the basement, her back pressed against the wall. She was trembling, her eyes wide with fear. I called out to her, asking if she was okay, but she didn't respond. Instead, she just stared at me with this haunted expression, like she'd seen something that had shaken her to her core. I slowly approached, my heart racing as I tried to make sense of what was happening. Who was this girl, and why was she down here in the basement all alone? But before I could get any answers, I heard it again, the scratching noise, louder this time, closer. I whipped around, searching the darkness for any sign of movement. And that's when I saw them, dozens of pairs of glowing eyes, staring back at me from the shadows. My blood ran cold as I realized what they were, rats, hundreds of them, swarming towards us with a single-minded determination. I grabbed the girl's hand and pulled her to her feet, adrenaline coursing through my veins as we ran for the stairs. The sound of our footsteps echoed off the walls, drowning out the incessant scratching behind us. We burst through the basement door and stumbled into the hallway, gasping for breath as we put as much distance between us and the basement as we could. I turned to the girl, ready to ask her what the heck just happened, but she was gone, vanished into thin air without a trace. 
I never did find out who she was or what she was doing down in that basement, and to be honest, I'm not sure I want to know. All I know is that I'll never forget the terror of that day, and the chilling feeling of being hunted by something lurking in the darkness. It happened a few years back, but trust me, it's the kind of thing you don't forget in a hurry. So, picture this, I'm down in my basement, rummaging through some old boxes, trying to find my camping gear for a trip I had planned. The basement was dimly lit, with just a couple of flickering bulbs overhead, casting long shadows across the concrete floor. As I'm digging through the boxes, I notice something strange, a small, metal box tucked away in the corner. Curiosity getting the better of me, I pull it out and pry it open. Inside, I find a stack of old photographs, black and white, faded with age. But it's not the photos that send a shiver down my spine, it's what's written on the back of them, dates, names, and locations, all pointing to something sinister. I'm starting to piece together that these photos might be evidence of some kind of crime when I hear a noise behind me, a soft shuffle, like someone trying to be quiet. I turn around, and that's when I see him, a man, standing in the shadows, staring at me with cold, dead eyes. He's holding something in his hand, a knife, gleaming in the dim light. My heart pounds in my chest as I realize what's happening. This isn't some random stranger, this is someone who doesn't want me poking around in things I shouldn't be. I try to speak, to ask him what he wants, but my voice catches in my throat. I'm frozen, rooted to the spot, as he takes a step closer, the knife glinting in the low light. I know I need to do something, but my mind is racing, trying to come up with a plan. And that's when I remember, there's a back door to the basement, a way out. I make a run for it, darting past the man and towards the door, my heart pounding in my ears. I can hear his footsteps behind me, getting closer with every second. I reach the door and fling it open, stumbling out into the cool night air. I don't stop running until I'm halfway down the street, my breath coming in ragged gasps. I don't know who that man was or what he was doing in my basement, but one thing's for sure, I'm never going back down there again. And as for those photos, well, let's just say I'll be handing him over to the police first thing tomorrow morning. If you're enjoying the spine-chilling narratives we bring to you, don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to stay updated on all things creepy and mysterious. We've got a lot more nightmares to share, and we want you along for the ride.